Hello, this is Nick Golden from MotionVFX.com. Today I'm going to be showing you M Tutorial for Premiere Pro. Let's get started. To install M Tutorial for Premiere Pro, head over to your M installer, find M Tutorial Premiere, and click Install. Once you've installed M Tutorial via M installer, you can hop on over to Premiere Pro. We're using the July 2022 version of Premiere Pro. To locate M Tutorial, you want to head over to your graphics panel. If your Premiere doesn't look like mine, head up to Window, Workspaces, and go to Captions and Graphics. Once you've done that, head over to your Captions and Graphics on Essential Graphics on the right side. M Tutorial includes over 100 tools to make your tutorials the best they possibly can be. Let's check out a couple of those tools and see how we can use them in our tutorial. The first tool we want to check out is our Zoom tool. This is a tool that we use all the time when creating our tutorials for Motion VFX. To locate the Zoom tool, head over to your Essential Graphics panel and find Zoom. To apply Zoom, simply drag and drop onto your sequence. You'll see that the Zoom automatically loads in over your footage with the words background footage on screen. Now keep in mind that Premiere operates in layers, so you want to put the Zoom above your footage. To place your footage into the Zoom, you're going to want to simply blade cut and nest your lower footage. I'm going to call this one. After nesting your footage, you're going to want to select the zoom and head over to edit on essential graphics. Then you can click the drop down on source media. And to make the clip the background of the zoom, you want to head over to your browser and drag the nest that you just created and drop. You'll see that the zoom is automatically applied to the center of the clip. Now, if you want to change the position or the amount slightly, what you want to do is head over to your edit tab again on essential graphics and head down to content. An easy way to see where it's going to zoom in is move the playhead until where the zoom is and then mess with your settings until you have the zoom set exactly where you want it to. Right about there. Okay. Now that we've done that, let's move on to another tool. Another really useful tool is the arrow tool. Arrows are very useful because you can use it to point something out. To use your arrow, simply select the arrow, drag, and drop. To adjust where the arrow is pointing to, simply head over to the Edit tab, select your arrows, adjust the content position and content scale. I think I want to point out her wearing headphones, so I'm going to do that. You can also adjust the rotation if you wish as well. That looks good right about there. Let's see how it looks. You can see it automatically pops up, animates in, and animates right back out. Next, let's check out our cursor tool. To locate the cursor tool, head back over to browse and find cursor. There's also a cursor animation option, but for now we're just going to use cursor. Simply select, drag, and drop. And you can see the cursor is doing something similar to our original clip. I'm going to retime it because I want it to go right in between this gap right here. Same thing as the zoom tool. You simply want to blade cut, nest, and I'm going to call this two. Then you want to select the cursor and head over to edit and essential graphics. Find your nest in the browser, drag and drop. It'll automatically load right in for you. Then to adjust its position, you can simply edit it in content, position, scale, and rotation, same as before. Here's how it looks. Also included in M Tutorial are transitions. To locate your transitions, you want to head over to your finder and type in M Tutorial and locate M Tutorial Transitions Project. You'll see that there are seven transitions included and we can open them all up and get an overview right here. They are automatically built out in their own sequences. And the easiest thing to do is copy them over and paste them into your current timeline. So let's choose one. I really like this first one. So let's copy this one. Just click Command C, take it over here, Command V, and there it is in the sequence. Once you have your transition in the sequence that you're working on, go ahead and drag it to the clips that you're going to want to transition between. And for now, go ahead and bump it up one level. 
Now the easiest thing to do is to go ahead and line up your playhead with where you're going to transition and create a blade cut of the first clip and drag up to the V2 slot. Go ahead and extend this the full length of the transition. For this one, I'm gonna drag it so it starts right with the beginning of the transition and then blade cut where the transition ends. Now go ahead and select the first clip that you're transitioning between and click Command X. Then head over to Source A by double clicking, put your playhead at the beginning and click Command V. This will automatically place the clip that you wanna transition between into the preset. Head back over to your main sequence and you can see that it's already right here in the first one and it's transitioning to drop zone B. So then we wanna do the same process by clicking Command X of the bottom clip and going into Source B, going to the beginning and clicking Command V. Now we can head back over to our transition and play it back. Now that we've done that, let's check out a few other things that you can use while making a tutorial. A really useful item is some of our overlays. To apply an overlay like this grid, simply drag and drop. This grid can help you lay things out, point things out, and a variety of other options. There are several other overlays that we can use, such as this composition tool and several more. We're gonna go ahead and remove that for now because I don't really need it for this tutorial. Now, if we head back over to browse, something that I do wanna do is go ahead and put a lower third to show the transition into this scene. I'm gonna use lower third number four and drag it onto our scene. This works just like any other lower third where you can change it and it automatically has animations in and out. Head over to edit, click title. We'll call this George because that's who's on screen. And you can also change what font you want it to be to anything you want. I like this Rubik font, so I'm gonna leave it at that. And for subtitle, we can do the same. And for his subtitle, let's put video content creator because that's what he does. Now we can play it back. That title's a little short, so I'm gonna go ahead and put his last name in here as well. And now you can see it goes from the transition right into his title. Now let's talk about shortcuts. Shortcuts is something that everybody loves to see pop up on their screen during tutorials, and we have the easiest way to make that happen. Head back over to Browse and locate the Shortcuts tool. You can drag the Shortcuts tool on by simply dragging and dropping. And you can see here, it automatically loads in with three different shortcuts. You can use up to four. To edit what they say, head over to Essential Graphics and click Edit, same place as everything else. And we wanna select Shortcuts. And you can see you can change the number of buttons from one to four. Let's do two for now. So right now it says Command and Alt. You can change the content scale and rotation and position, just like all of our other titles. I'm gonna put it right over his screen because he's talking about what he's doing on his computer. And let's change what the second button says because I really like Command X. So that's what I'm going to click. That's in button text two. You can just simply come in, let's type X. And now you can see it's automatically changed. We can move it so it times up with our clip a little better. And now you can see it automatically animates right in along with our title. Now finally, let's check out our backgrounds. To use one of our backgrounds, you wanna locate them over in the Browse and Essential Graphics. I really like background number six, so I'm gonna drag that in. Let's say you wanna create a unique composition using our two content creators we have in this video. Leaving this in the V1 slot as our background, I'm gonna go over and grab a piece of this clip. I'm gonna extend it out a little bit and bump it up to the V2 slot and put the background right underneath. I'm then going to move our footage until after the background animates in. So right there, scale this footage down quite a bit so we can put it side to side with our other content creator. I'm thinking about 50 and then I'm going to move it all the way over. Now grab a clip from our other content creator and paste it over here in the V2 slot. Then I'm gonna line it up right over top so it happens at the exact same time and retime to match. And then same thing as before, scale to 50 and move to the opposite side of the frame. Then I'm going to nest both of these clips. Now that I've nested it, I'm gonna head over to my effects workspace 
and add a transition. Now let's check out and see what we created today. All right, that about wraps it up for this tutorial. Again, this is Nick Golden. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and come back for more.